This is the Stormbox mini speaker that Tribit sent to me. So in this video, I want to test this out to see how well it works. So it comes in this small box. So let's get to opening it right up. And here, the first thing I see on top is going to be this user guide. And then we're going to have a USB-C to USB-A cable. And then underneath this plastic is going to be the speaker itself. And yeah, I think that's everything that comes in it. All right, so here it is. Surprisingly, this has some good weight to it. Up front, we have three buttons, the power button, the minus, and the plus for the volume. Up top, there's this little logo for Tribit. And then on the back side, we're gonna have additional buttons. So what looks like power, Bluetooth. Oh, I turned it on. Uh, Bluetooth and the light. So let's see what happens. Yeah, if I press the light, it changes the light or it just turns it off. And then down here, we're gonna have a few ports, including the aux port and the USB-C charging port. And then at the bottom, there's just some additional info. And there's also gonna be this rubber grip all the way around, and this is just to help it uh, stay in place. And it's also got some plastic protectants on it. Okay, so now when I put it here, you know, it doesn't move as easily as if it just had the plastic at the bottom, like this. All right, so I have my phone turned Bluetooth right on. And let me also make sure this is powered on. It is, and Bluetooth is on too. As you see, it's blinking on and off. So going down to my phone, here we got Tribit Stormbox Mini. And it made a little sound letting me know that this is fully connected now. All right, so I set some non-copyrighted music. So now when I click this button in the middle, it's gonna start to play and here's what it sounds like. So I set it to the max volume and it sounds pretty good. I also went around so you can hear what it sounds like, 360, and what I notice, which makes sense, it sounds more uh, on the sides over here rather than the front and the back, and that's gonna be because the controls are over here, likewise on the back side. Now this center button serves more than just pause and play, you can also hold it twice for voice assistant. As you see, Siri pops up. And I can also use this to change track. So clicking this twice will go to the next track and clicking this three times will go to the previous track. And if there's a call incoming, I can press it once to accept and then press it once to end the call or I can hold it for two seconds to reject the call. All right, now heading to the back side, let's turn on the light once more. And one thing I'm curious about is if the light, if the speed of this changes depending on the music. So let me play. <laughs> And yeah, I can confirm this speeds up. Now, another thing you should know about this Stormbox Mini is you can use it in stereo mode. So if you have two of these, you can have one for the left channel and one for the right channel. Now, some other cool things about this is this is also IPX7 waterproof. And I just wanted to double check it. And here's a quick summary of what that means. In other words, I can submerge it in water for up to 30 minutes without this being damaged. I can also put this in uh, chlorine water. I just have to wash this afterwards. So I want to test this out by submerging it in my pool, digging it out, washing it off, and just making sure it still works. I'm just about ready to submerge the Stormbox Mini, but I gotta make sure that the back is fully sealed, which it is, and I also want it to be playing music at the same time to see if it continues playing music when I take it out, or if it stops, so let's play. Alright, so it doesn't want to sink anymore. It just keeps floating up, which is actually good for me. So this way I can actually take it out a lot easier. And yeah, let me grab it now. And there you have it. This thing is still working. It's still playing music. But before doing anything, I do want to wash this up. 
uh, with some clean water since this is pool water. Uh, let this dry and then test it out again to make sure it's still working. All right, so it's been a full 24 hours and this speaker now is completely dry. So let's make sure it still works after that. So here, yep, everything's good. The light, yep, I can mess with it. And now let me connect it with my phone just to make sure the Bluetooth aspect still works. And here it is connecting. And there, it's fully connected. <laughs> So overall, I'm pretty happy with the Tribit Stormbox Mini Speaker. It passed the waterproof test. It sounds really nice. The buttons are easy to use. And yeah, that's a quick look at this mini speaker.